Oh, uh, what's the matter? I'm hot. Why are you hot? Because <laughs> you're dressed up like Nanu. <laughs> Are you going across a frozen tundra? It's like 50 degrees out. I don't need my gloves and hat anymore. Good God. We just passed a girl with shorts on. Yeah, shorts and t-shirt on, and she's dressed up like she's, yeah, going across the Iditarod. <laughs> Good morning. It is day two. Uh, we are leaving Phantom Ranch and heading to Cottonwood. How you doing? I'm doing good. It's yeah. a little chilly, but... How'd you sleep last night? The best ever. Yeah, yeah. I think last night was the best uh, night I've ever slept on the trail. You wake up to this? Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. You see up in the background here. So we got about nine miles to go today. That's including the one mile jaunt off the trail to go to Ribbon Falls that we want to see. Uh, the bridge is out, so we're going to have to traverse the creek, um, which is no big deal. So we are going to get going here, and we'll see you guys up on the trail. We have a change, a slight change of plans. Um, we were going to spend the third night up on the North Rim. And everybody suggests what you do is day hike up there from Cottonwood and back. So we had to go to the ranger station to get our permit change because they do check permit boxes on our campsite just to make sure you're there and you're lost, not lost somewhere on the trail. And we got talking to the ranger. The rangers here are on eight day cycles. Uh, ranger Casey, that helped us out. Today was her last day. She works from Tuesday to Tuesday, hikes out, and then she has six days off. She has all her food brought down by mules. Um, so yeah, it was kind of neat talking to her, seeing her lifestyle. So yeah, she basically lives down in uh, Phantom Ranch for eight days straight.
matter? I'm hot. Why are you hot? Because <laughs> you're dressed up like Nana. <laughs> Are you going across a frozen tundra? It's like 50 degrees out. I don't need my gloves and hat anymore. Good God. We just passed a girl with shorts on. Yeah, shorts and t-shirt on, and she's dressed up like she's, yeah, going across the Iditarod. <laughs> like I said, just as we start, she bundles up, and then a mile later, we got to disrobe. <laughs> The view never gets old. Every time we turn the corner and see that wall, yeah, we're definitely walking in the canyon today. Yesterday we spent all day trying to get down into the canyon. Today we're in the canyon. It's our first hint of sunlight all day. Being down in there, it's all shade. It is definitely warmer down here in the canyon. About halfway to Ribbon Falls. So we'll see you up on the trail. So that's our first glimpse of the North Rim. There's a building up there on that ledge up there. That's quite a ways up there. And then if you look back here, that right there is the South Rim. Okay, go for it. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Do you see it? I see it. Live it up while you got it. Yeah. 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 No, maybe you can take off five of those ten layers that you're wearing.
supposed to cross that. It's fast. I mean, you'd have to get out to that rock there somehow to get over that. What do you think? No. Okay, let's back up. Yeah, so we made the executive decision not to cross that river. We'd have to take our boots and socks off and if you were to cross that thing and it's just a little bit too dangerous for her liking. It would make her heart hurt, she said. Yes, it would. So we're gonna sit down and take a break. I packed out a hostess cupcake. That looks lovely. Honestly, if you walked as far as we did, this actually looks pretty good. How are you feeling? My calves are burning. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say the bridge is out for structural integrity. <laughs> oh my gosh, do your best, cock the rest. South Rim. Wave hello to all the tourists. Hi. According to my calculations of steps, walking and counting and configuring. Yeah. Right now, at camp. Oh, you know Stephen Hawkins, because we're not at camp. <laughs> For the night. Oh, couldn't ask for a better view. <laughs> this is unbelievable. The views all day today. How you doing there, Nanook? I'm doing good. It's getting a little chilly out, so time to put the hat on. Yeah. No gloves yet. Yeah, it's four o'clock. Uh, we are making dinner. Tonight we're dining on Mountain House Adventure Meals because we've been through an adventure. 
<laughs> little lasagna and spaghetti with meat sauce. And I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. Um, tomorrow our plan is leave here and head up to the North Rim and back and get back here before sundown. And then we'll spend another night here. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be tough, but we're gonna because we can leave our, our camp set up here. We're gonna be lightweight going up there, just basically taking some water and food with us. We might have to take the tent, a couple of layers in case it gets cold. There's supposed to be a storm system coming through. It's beautiful out right now. It's gonna be hard to believe that tomorrow's gonna to be so cold. Yeah, I mean, it had to be 55 today. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Especially come through that desert area. It was really nice, so. It's still nice. All right, well, we're gonna eat. We're gonna try to be in bed by six o'clock this evening because we wanna be on the trail by 6.45 tomorrow morning, just before sunup, uh, so we can get a start on the day. So, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, it is the end of the day. We are heading to bed. <laughs> it's still light out, it's uh, 4.51. We're just gonna get in the tent and just relax, but try to be asleep by six o'clock in the evening. We wanna be on the trail at quarter to quarter seven, seven tomorrow morning got 14 miles seven miles up seven miles back but the seven miles up are hard yeah yeah about five six thousand feet of elevation gain all right you got anything else look at this view oh, yeah. <laughs> it never gets old so you can see the moon up there oh, it's amazing yeah well we're gonna head to bed we'll see you guys tomorrow see you on the trail mm -hmm.